want to talk very briefly about the difference between a professional presentation and an educational one. Use your education as a time to experiment. Find your style, try new things, make mistakes. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and try something new. It may seem like the end of the world if you mess up one time or you get a bad critique and you need to go back and work through things or you deliver a presentation in a different way and it goes horribly. But the fact is, it's not the end of the world. Education is there to help you learn, to help you experiment, to help you become the professional that you are going to be in just a few years. So use that time wisely to find out how you work best and what manner and methods and tools help you do the best job you can. As a closing thought, one of the best ways that you can prepare is each time you deliver a presentation, whether it's just to your classmates or a formal group of critics, pretend that you have a client in the room. In fact, when you even start a project, you should pretend that you are doing this for a specific client. A lot of times as part of an assignment, there already is a pretend client. But if there's not, invent one for yourself. That way, when you deliver that presentation at the end, you're doing it with somebody specific in mind. Even though it might sound weird, at the beginning of your presentation, say who your pretend client is. It can be as simple as, I created this interior design imagining that this was a brand new ice cream shop in the tropics and it was a new owner who really liked the color pink. Okay, that client probably does exist somewhere. The point is you're setting the scene and you're almost making a contract of sorts with the audience so they understand the frame of mind that you are in when you did your work and how you'll be presenting.